stopping in quickly to do vlog number, oh my god, I never looked, I think it's number nine, it might be number eight, I think it's number nine, <laughs> we will find out when I post it. Um, yeah, it's it's been a busy week, uh, things are starting to get back to normal uh, now here, I guess. Um, I'm headed back to work full time next week, so as sad as I am that that takes away from my sewing time it's at the same time going to be really nice to get out of out of the house and go to office and be able to work that way again um my husband is still laid off but uh all is well there we've got lots of stuff going on around the house he's finishing renos um he's doing some gardening i'm trying to talk him into getting on his harley and just going for a ride with his friends so hopefully he does that um that's a great stress reliever and he really deserves it because he takes care of us all so well um, over the weekend, I was going to deliver things on Friday. Unfortunately, I came down with a case of strep throat. I was so scared it was going to be COVID. Thank goodness it was not. I got some antibiotics, feeling much better now. Um, yeah, strep throat. I get it every June. I should have known that's what it was. So, um, yeah, so I'm feeling much better now. Didn't get any sewing done this weekend due to that because I was just resting because I wanted to get her done. Get it over with. Be healthy. So, especially because I'm going back to work next week. Um, but last week I did get a few things done. I will be delivering them today. I will show you. So this here, I, this is a, called a day trip wallet. This will actually be the last one that I think I make. This is one of the very first patterns that I ever made. It's a, it's by So Sweetness. It's a great pattern. I just find that the phones are starting to get too big to fit into the cell phone pocket here. So, um, yeah, I am retiring this one for now, but I had to mainly show off this amazing fabric. This was from Spoonflower. This is for Mandy and she likes the bees. So this was really fun to fussy cut and figure out uh, where I was going to place the bees or whatever. And it goes so amazingly with this gold hardware. So she's got a place here. Hopefully her phone fits. It may not. I'm not sure. Um, and it's, it's mainly just a wallet. It's a zipper on wallet and she chose galaxy print also from spoonflower as the interior so i hope she really likes this um i said i love these bumblebees again it was a spoonflower fabric um i love spoonflower you can get anything you're looking for so she's got a one of kind day trip wallet um the other thing that i worked on was i know i've had this fabric before with this bag but it was for a uh, medium sized nora doctor bag the nora doctor bag comes in small medium and a traveler size this is the small size it is super adorable um i did change it to have shoulder length straps for mary as she it usually just comes with handbag straps but she wants to be able to wear it on her shoulder but i mean how adorable wanda also had the medium uh, nora doctor bag done in the same uh, swoop flower fabric with the dragonflies unfortunately the way it falls the this goes right over the dragonfly's head but it still turned out amazing amazing and it's super cute she chose like a blush pink interior it just has the one zipper pocket she's got the rainbow zippers the rainbow hardware so this is off to mary uh, mary also ordered a matching i mean how cute diamond clutch wallet it's almost as big as the bag so yeah again this is a uh, spoonflower fabric this dragonfly so this is where it opens up she's got all the card slots she's got places for bills this out oh, and then the coins the coins here um this is by far my favorite um wallet to make and my favorite pattern i have two of these myself and this is how it opens on the back and a cell phone does fit in there so that is so nice and i think she's really going to like it so that will be going out in the mail for her here pretty quick as well i just realized i left the other bag upstairs so i'm going to just pause this i'm going to go upstairs get the bag that i made for myself i gotta show it off so i will okay, be right I'm back. back you probably didn't even notice i was gone <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I had to show off. I did a tutorial, a YouTube tutorial on the Swoon Harriet uh, Vintage Expandable Tote. Trust me, it doesn't look like a tote. It is a handbag. And I kept this one for myself. How cute is this? I mean, look at that shape. It looks full because I have all my stuff in it. One thing I love about this is if you needed more space, you unzip the sides like this. 
and then they pop out like this to make it have a little bit more space. And then to get the shape back, you just stuff it back in and zip her up again. I am in love with this bag, so in love with it. So it has a magnetic, it's just got the handbag straps. Uh, again, if you wanted one, I could extend them to shoulder straps. It does not have a way to do a crossbody. The only way I could do a crossbody if you wanted it is if we made it uh, um, detachable and then you could just clip one here on the front and one of them here on the back and that would work, but that kind of makes your straps hang funny. Anyways, it's a magnetic snap closure here. And again, I have all of my stuff in it already. Like, I just love this bag. And then, as I was just talking about the diamond clutch wallet, I made myself a matching one. So yeah, I love matching wallets and bags together. So this one um, for myself, I actually added on a um, wristlet. So then I could carry it without the bag if I wanted to. Anybody can order a wristlet for an extra $7. I can add it to the bag. Um, this one, I did it in such a way, I don't know if you can see, it doesn't really have a zipper pull. I made the wristlet the zipper pull. So if you wanted to add a wristlet, you could have that where the zipper and the wristlet are the zipper pull, or you could have a regular zipper pull and just snip this into the ring of the zipper pull. But I plan on keeping that on it, so I did that. But yeah, this is the diamond clutch wallet. I would show you that my phone fits in there, but of course I'm using my phone to film this, but there's that pocket there. And then of course, when you open it up, there's all my cards. So you got places for bills and everything. My new favorite set. This is what I'm, I'm carrying right now. Actually, this will be my first time out with her today. So um, I'm super excited about that. So yeah, it looks like good response on my Harriet uh, tutorial. Um, it was very fun to make, or it was a lot of fun to make. Um, tutorials coming up next for my my bag maker community um i have two more bags on order which i will be doing this week i have um alana's hey mercedes bag which is by so sweetness i unfortunately can't do a tutorial on that because sarah who is the creator sarah lawson she does her own tutorials so i completely respect that but i will definitely show how alana's bag turns out she got some really nice pastel colored uh a watercolory a spoon flower fabric which I will show off with my next vlog it's going to be really really pretty and then she's doing it in like a I think she's used oh like a rose vinyl it's, it's going to be really soft and a really pretty bag so I'm excited to do that I haven't made a hey Mercedes bag in a couple of years it was one of my first bags that I did uh, so sweetness is how I got my start with all ma bag making uh, Sarah Lawson is an amazing teacher um, with her her tutorials and uh, all that that she has on her website so definitely check out so sweetness um, and I also have uh, Tracy's Davina bag, which I'm doing in that vintage Mickey Mouse fabric um, and a dark gray vinyl. It's going to be super cute. I am debating, is it the Davina bag I'm doing for her? Yeah, it is the Davina bag I'm doing for her. I'm debating doing my next tutorial while I make that one. I'm not sure if there's a call for the D Davina bag by bag stock tutorial. I know there's a few out there. If you want me to do it, I'm planning on doing it this weekend. So in the comments, say, yay, do the Davina Bagstock tutorial. Uh, do the D Davina Bag tutorial, and then I will make that my next tutorial. Otherwise, um, I'm going to start working down my list for uh, the Shambhala bags, and I've had a request for an NCW Necessary Clutch Wallet tutorial. Again, there's a lot of tutorials on that out there, so I'm not sure if I will do that one or not, but I might. Um, if I happen to have an order for one, I will just do it. Speaking of orders, I am happy to say that I have been booked for orders all the way to January. Um, as I am, uh, I've taken on a full-time job again. I was working uh, part-time before, but with everything going on and uh, with my husband being laid off, I decided it'd be good to take on uh, full-time. And I, my, my new employer is amazing and I'm really looking forward to getting into ops to do that. But I'm no longer doing three to four bags, three to four bags a week um, because I won't have the time. So I've cut it down to one to two bags a week. Uh, still a lot of bags going out every week and I am booked um, right to the beginning of January. I will be contacting, a, I think I have three more people on my wait list I need to get a hold of. So, um, and touch base with some that I have to make sure that they want to, to still save their spot. Um, before I call the next ones on the list. So I'm super excited about all that. Um, 
again, you can you can contact me if you want to place an order for a bag. It just will be into the new year for when you do get it. Um, but we could definitely start planning. Um, because I said in for uh, the rest of June and July, well, I have those couple orders there, and I have two dresses that I'm making for friends. But for July and half of August, I don't have any bag orders happening, mainly because most of my fabric is coming from Spoonflower and it's taking two to three months to get here. So um, I have reopened for orders, taking that into mind. So um, yeah, I'll start making bags again in August. My plan for July is to build my YouTube channel. I am pleased to announce that in the last couple of weeks, I went from like a hundred and some odd um, subscribers to 320. I am just so humbled and so overjoyed. Um, I am really hoping to get monetized. That is my goal. It's a goal that I've made for myself. So I need to have 1000 subscribers for that. I believe I've already made the minimum requirement for minutes viewed, which is amazing. Um, meeting a lot of people on there. I've actually opened a bag makers uh, group on Facebook. It's linked to my business page, which is, which is, uh, Beans, Bags and Handicrafts Co. on there. I will uh, leave a, a link down in the bottom with my Facebook uh, page down below and you go in there, you hit join group and then it'll take you to the bag makers community and then I'm hoping that we can all give each other tips and hints and, and share our makes and it'll be a lot of fun. Um, I've got a, quite a few or quite a, quite a few new people that have gone on there. It's really fun. Um, I don't think there's that many Canadian bag maker groups out there so everyone's welcome of course but it's kind of nice uh that a couple Canadians have come on there and, and we're being able to touch base and share our resources and everything um and but we do welcome our American friends as well anybody anybody join um the bag makers community is amazing so and that's pretty much all that's going on. I'm trying to think. Canada Day's coming up on July 1st. I'm hoping I will be able to come on and do another vlog by then. We'll, we'll see. It depends what I have um, for content to show you guys. Um, yeah, so no, venturing out today is grocery shopping day. Kids have eaten us out of house and home again. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all. All I have to report. So I'm going to get these ones out in the mail today, do a few deliveries. Um, I am pleased to announce I am done making masks for my friends and family. I've made masks for, I made 128 masks. I'm so done making masks. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to making my summer and fall wardrobe. Um, I've just started to venture into garment sewing. So my goal is to make myself all my new clothes and I have to go through all my old clothes and purge some of them and get them off to the women's shelter because a lot of those clothes I'm just not wearing or they're too big. Or I admit I do have some clothes from high school still, which I definitely will never fit into again. But um, so yeah, so that's that's the plan for the week. I've got uh, Alana's bag to do. I'm doing Tracy's bag. I got those two dresses to do. And then I'm going to concentrate on... Um, some YouTube content for the next uh, for the for the next month or so, which is very exciting to me. I'm learning a lot. Um, I feel like I have my channel has grown quite a bit in the last couple of months, so I'm I'm very excited to see uh, where it goes and and how it is. Um, it's a good challenge because I'm not really all that comfortable in front of the camera, so um, coming out of my shell that way a bit, I guess. So. Everybody, please have a safe and happy day. Um, it looks like it's kind of overclassed. I'm looking out the window now and it might possibly rain today. So we're going to go out. My husband and I are going to go to Cora's for breakfast. And I think I might get some eggs Benedict. Um, yeah, just a little bit of a morning out. Walmart to shop and then home to do some office work and hopefully a little bit of sewing. So everybody, please stay safe. Have fun. Wear your masks. Stay healthy. Avoid the COVID. We're knocking this thing in the butt so hopefully it'll be gone soon and life will get even more back to normal love ya bye bye